from Shanti, we are here with the second of seven members of Kali Blessing. Living at home and living pure. No physical relationships, but having spiritual connections and relations. That leads to peace and prosperity. So God here also says, may you be free from having bodily relationships and while living at home with your family, remain combined with the one father. So if you're having physical relations, whether it's husband, wife, brother, sister, whatsoever it is, and our attention is more towards them, for happiness, for joy, and receiving true happiness, true joy from Godfather becomes a little less. Because the connection becomes a little lesser. If you want to play the part of having a pure household, grahas the ashram. Ashram itself means where there is no lustful activity going on. While living at home with your family, remain free from having any bodily relationship. I am a man, this one is a woman. Do not have this consciousness even in your dreams because if you think she's my wife or he's my husband then automatically you have physical attraction. Since souls are brothers, Atma, Atma, Bhai, Bhai, since souls are brothers, children are one father, Godfather, how can there be the consciousness of man and woman because that is only a physical body. The couple is you and the father, it's not the husband and the wife. This is only at the end of Kali Yuga. God comes and says that now you become my wife and I become your husband as a soul and the one who is there as your wife and a husband the other is just in name for the sake of doing service just to take care of things just to take care of your you you to take care of them that is just to take care of each other physically but not lustfully so God says this is when the end of Kali is coming I tell you this knowledge to remain pure because I'm creating a combination of Lakshmi and Narayan at the end of Kali if you can do that then you are the most powerful souls in the world who are going to become Lakshmi Narayan in the coming Satya Yuga. And those who think that Brahma Kumaris, they break relationships, mind you, God really doesn't want to break relationships. But yes, false relationships where it's only about physical attraction, you get to know that, okay, this person was only there for physical attraction, whether it was a husband or a wife, and or uh, whatever it is. And then you realize that, yes, my relationship was not soul-made. My relationship was more of body-made. And that's why God says, I don't break relationships, but the untrue relations, the false relationships all already and always break apart because of this knowledge. But one has to have very strong, powerful will to go through this. So God then says, it is you and the Father who have a combined form. When you move along with this consideration, you will be called a courageous, victorious soul. It is you and the father who have a combined form. He is my husband, husbands of husband, and I, the soul, am his wife. And that's the best method to create a relationship with God so that we can go into liberation or mukti. Otherwise, if you think about a wife or children or husband, then there is no mukti. So this is the method of being liberated while staying with the man, not breaking relationships. This is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. Om Shanti with this.